Um, one, um, I think it's pretty important for people to understand that <clears throat> one of the reasons that Bitcoin is an economic imperative, even in the developed world, <clears throat> is that most of the assets that people hold in the US and Europe are currency derivatives <clears throat> like uh, if you own a value stock, it's, it's valued based on the value of the discounted cash flows. And if you own real estate, it's valued based upon the rents. And if you own a bond, it's valued based upon the coupon. And so if the currency is losing 15% of its value a year, then you have to apply a 15% discount rate to all those currency derivatives. And you look out 10 years and you realize that, that even though right now they might have got a bump in this V-shaped recovery or K-shaped recovery, Ultimately, if we have a loose money uh, policy in the Western world, then they're all collapsing. And that's why you'd want a non-sovereign bearer instrument store of value that's not based on cash flows. And I, I would just suggest everybody apply this mental model in their head. If you were running a business in Argentina, and if I told you that the Argentine currency was going to collapse from three pesos to the dollar to 150 pesos to the dollar over the next 15 years, and then you try to figure out what your investment strategy should be. Should you own Argentine bonds, Argentine stocks, Argentine commercial real estate, or Argentine cash, or should you own something else? The answer is there isn't any strategy in a collapsing currency. There is no mix of conventional assets that saves you because they're all eventually going to get ripped down by the collapse of the underlying currency so the only logical strategy when the, as the currency starts to collapse faster is you have to convert your monetary energy into an asset which is not a currency derivative in the frame of reference you're in, right? And so once you understand that idea, it's a big idea, then, you, then the light bulb goes off and you say, well, in 2003, I should convert all my pesos to dollars because that's a stronger currency than peso. But in 2021, I should convert something to like a Bitcoin because that's stronger than the peso and stronger than the dollar. And it's a frame of reference. 